and their round tires like the moon, right? These are the ornaments that you like to wear. You know, Judai woman, man, you got to have gold. You got to have everything, your accessories, your Dooney and Burke bags, your Gucci, you know, your Jimmy Choo stiletto heels. I mean, you got to be decked out, man. He knows you, all right? The chains and the bracelets and the mufflers, the bonnets and the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings, the rings and nose jewels. Does he know you? Does he know you? The changeable suits of apparel and mantles and the wimples and crisping pins. Everything you do to do your hair. Some of you women got so many clothes you can't shut the damn closet door, man, and you're still shopping. Just doing everything in excess. Fucking out of control, man. Verse 23. The glasses and the fine linen and the hoods and the veils. Well, you don't wear no veils because you want your face to be seen. When your makeup is, uh, what, what's the word? What's the going word now? Uh, or on fleek. <laughs> Ain't that what you guys say? Your makeup is on fleek. Yeah. We won't have no makeup to be on fleek when this shit is the fan, all right? Verse 24, it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, there shall be stink. You know why? Won't be no running water. Won't be able to take a shower. You won't be able to go to Moab and get them damn eagle's claws clipped that's in your shoes. Toenails gonna curve around under your damn feet. All right? Your hair's gonna be nappy, breath stinking, no Listerine, no makeup, no deodorant. Oh, and when that time of the month comes, oh boy. Can't wash up. No tampons. I mean, it's right here in the scriptures. All right? Take a shit, no toilet paper. Ass all caked up. It's going to be a real bad situation. And I don't care how fine you used to be in the world. You look like these women here, you're going to be a hot fucking mess when the shit hit the fan. All right? Because people are going to be fighting to survive. It ain't going to be about looking pretty. And if you look pretty, that's going to be a curse. Your beauty is going to become your curse. You know why? Because there's going to be marauders of men riding around snatching up fine women. All right? Beautiful women. You're going to try to make yourself as ugly as you can during this time. Because they're going to take you and they're going to have your way with you. Why? Because there's not going to be any 911 to call. All right? Esau is going to abandon you at that time. He's already doing it. Why do you think Trump is in there uh, trying to dismantle Section 8? He's torn down uh, uh, the, uh, the food stamp program. They instituted the EBT card. The EBT card was nothing but a tracking device. What are you going to do? What are you going to do, boss bitch? Huh? And the men that you had to depend on, you smashed them. All right? You smashed and burned the men that you had to depend on. You degraded them, belittled them. Told us we ain't nothing. All right? It says, verse 10, Many days and years shall you be troubled, you careless women. For the vengeance shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Verse 11, tremble. Ye women that are at ease, and be troubled, you careless one. Strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. All right? Why well, are you going to gird sackcloth upon your loins? Because during that time, you're not going to be wearing no jeans looking like this. That'd be a curse. The last thing you're going to want to do is want to look sexy. Because there are going to be men out there that have turned to monsters. There are going to be men out there that have turned to monsters. Feral in nature. Man is going to be reduced to his primal instinct during this time. And it's coming. Verse 12. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, and for the fruitful vine. Oh, yeah. You're going to cry, man. You're going to cry. You're going to miss putting your makeup on. You're going to miss getting your hair done. You're going to miss sitting in that chair, having the, 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 the chair massage your legs while the Moabites you know, uh, 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 shape and, and polish your toenails. You're going to miss that, man. You're going to miss that. And she being desolate shall sit up on the ground. That's your fate, boss, bitch. Isaiah 3 and 26.
your gates shall lament and mourn. When it says gates in scripture, it's talking about your dwelling place, wherever you are. The gates where you dwell shall lament and mourn. You're going to sit and cry and being desolate, being broke down, being reduced to nothing. Hmm? Being reduced to nothing. You're going to be desolate. And sit up on the ground because that's all you're going to have left to do. And God forbid if you don't have a man of the most high to protect you. Matter of fact, let's get that. Let's flip over to Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1. Short walk. Short walk. Isaiah chapter 4. Verse 1. See, you're not going to have a problem sharing a man then. All you women out there, I don't share no man. I want my own husband. I ain't sharing with no bitch. <laughs> well, let's see about that. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. After everything you've heard, after how you're going to be broken down and reduced to nothing, the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimmy Hawashai. All right. This is what's going to happen to you now because he's getting your mind ready for the kingdom now. He's going to humble you. He's going to take away all of this bullshit that Esau's put in your head. He's going to take away all of these treats and dainties that you used to in this wicked ass, devilish ass kingdom. All right. And he's going to bring you to this mindset. Not only are you going to love having one man and sharing them with women, you're going to beg for it. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day, what day is that? When the shit is the fan. <laughs> and in that day, seven women, and it doesn't just mean seven. Seven is the number of completion. It could be 17 or even 30 of y'all out there trying to get to that one man. Oh, I know you don't see it right now, but Oh, just wait a while. It'll sink in. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread and will wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name and take away our reproach. What is reproach? Reproach means judgment. You see? Because a man of the Lord is going to be a strong tower in that time. Because he's marked. He's exempt from judgment. Let's get that. Crazy. I believe that this has been long enough. And uh, in closing, I'd just like to say this. If you're a boss, bitch, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with being successful. There's nothing wrong with trying to pay your bills. There's nothing wrong with having a good job. There's nothing wrong with any of that. But check your fucking attitude, man. All right? Don't be like these ignorant-ass bitches on these damn love and hip-hop and all these stupid-ass TV shows, all right? Don't thumb your nose up at, 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 at us as men because there's going to come a time when you need us, the men of the Lord. So you better keep that in mind, okay? You better keep that shit in mind, man, and humble yourself. Okay, that was uh, part of his third part of his video. It was a three part, uh, series, I guess you'd call it. I didn't do anything on the second part, but again, I'll leave the description, leave the link in the description. And, uh, ladies, there's truth in what he's telling you now. Y'all take heed and, uh, do what you got to do because the time's drawing near and y'all know it just like I do. And it's be better if we work together than working apart. So anyhow, this is James Sankey, loving you all. Sign out as we give all praise and glory to the Most High God of Israel.